Good day everyone, welcome back to Training Room. Today's lesson we're going to be learning about uh, the OneGrid platform again and how to register a domain and how to load the domain and then put it on a hosting package and then obviously start to edit um, which I can put into another training video altogether and how you do your setup and everything like that as well. So this will be a quick little video to go through and um, I hope it helps you. So let's dive into it. Okay, first of all, if you haven't opened a customer zone yet, I suggest you do one. You'll be able to find that on the video previous to this one. Um, you'll need to log in with your email, etc. and fill in your details. Um, this is assuming that you've already done that. If you haven't, you can watch the video before. And you're just going to click on My Customer Zone. And then from My Customer Zone, we're going to go to uh, Domains. And we're going to look at Registering a New Domain. So over here you would obviously have a look at um, a domain that you would like to register. Um, in my case I have registered a few domains already and I would just suggest maybe this one here. It probably will say it's taken already which I think it has. Um, but nevertheless that's what you would basically select under. Okay uh, so once you've gone from that then you would add it to your cart. Okay so you can obviously add .co.za to your cart and then you would go through to checkout and then from checkout you will be given these options here now if you don't if the if you're new and you're starting off from the beginning you'll you'll see over here is your domain okay it's required a dns updates and management which assists in everything i strongly suggest to take that and your linux hosting small all right this is just a small package it costs you like 90 rand a month or 89 rand a month um, and it basically will run one website. You've got four gigabytes of SSD storage and 75 mail counts. All right, so this is your hosting package small. Okay, now a hosting package won't run, or sorry, your domain here won't run without a hosting package. So we have to use our domain on a host to be able to get our website on, on, on the web or on, online. All right, so if you select the two of those, this is basically how cheap it would be to set that all up. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, now you're brought to this page here, which is basically or essentially a um, review the order page, um, which you'll see over here. And it's basically telling me 119 rand and 10 cents is what I need to pay. And then I'll push the checkout button and follow the prompts um, on how to pay, um, I'll more than likely do a payment through PayFast, uh, which is a payment gateway, secure payment South African gateway, which I utilize all the time. For a matter of saving time, I'm just going to skip this part here and then let it load and do everything that it's supposed to do, and then I'll receive an email. Right, so now I prefer actually to go through to the OneGrid uh, payment or OneGrid uh, platform dashboard. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the hosting package that I already currently have. And this is my DTS management hosting package. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in to my cPanel. Okay, so once you've got into your cPanel, um, just ignore all of this here. You would have a blank screen here once you've started off afresh. So once you've done that, you would more than likely have all of this here, which is, it says install now or my apps, etc. So for a matter of interest, um, I'm actually going to take one new site that I've loaded on and I'm going to delete it or remove it. Remove that installation quickly. Okay, so from here on out, I've obviously removed my previous installation. It's that pretty, pretty simple, like straightforward. So I want to do another installation, which I'll use the install now. And then I would have a SSL certificate, which I've already bought uh, or added onto my, my package. And I will then search through the domain that I just bought. I'll select that. And in this directory, if you see over here, it says the directory relative to your domain and should not exist. Example, to install a HTTP, um, which is an unsecure or insecure unsecure your yeah, unsecure um, <laughs> SSL certificate then you would keep that there but we want to obviously keep the site secure 
with an SSL certificate, which is the HTTPS. Um, and we're going to take that out. We're going to leave the installation URL exactly the same. And here we're going to call it um, Cyber Security Consultants. This is just another site that I'm busy building or will be building again. Okay, and under your description, you can put anything there. Secure your online experience, or whatever the case may be, okay? Just for an example. And then we would utilize, I prefer not to use admin, um, but if you are having to use admin, you can always use admin and, and CS for cybersecurity. And then obviously add yourself a password. And then obviously add yourself a password. Okay, and always put in your Gmail, um, uh, Gmail accounts or Gmail um, email accounts. Uh, in this case, I will just put my Wasteworks one and scroll down. You don't have to worry about anything here. You don't have to worry about anything there. Advanced options, I don't think there is much, no, you don't need to worry anything there. And then that is pretty much it. So you can choose from a selection of pre-chosen um, themes, which you can utilize for your website. However, I choose normally to miss that. And then I'd like to email the installation to myself. So I'll do an inst install. Okay, and there we go, it would be installed. There's your HTTPS and the domain you just registered and your administrative account which you can get into WP which is your WordPress admin page so that is pretty much how easy it is if you want to obviously tweet it if you have Twitter send it off to Twitter and it'll go through I'm going to go back to the C panel so go back to the C panel and that will take you back to your scripts and then you'll see there's my cybersecurity consultants and you hit on that little icon, money key or man icon that's there. And that's it, you're in. I would have received an email as well that would have come through. Um, you can also utilize that link there. And what I like to usually do is create a folder in your other bookmarks. And then obviously bookmark that in that folder for your login link. And uh, also do the same for your installations, for your cPanel, etc. as well. And that is pretty much how quick and easy it is to get everything up and running. Um, now your website is, as a matter of fact, online. There won't be anything there. If I go and click on there, I've right clicked and then visit the site. Uh, sorry, I've right clicked on visit site and I've opened up a new pane over here so I can show you. And this would be it right here. There's nothing on there. And I think our next step would be to show you how we start setting up a website uh, using sliders and then your address, contact details, contact pages, blog, etc, etc as well. So I hope you enjoyed what we've gone through here. And for now, that's me signing out and we'll see you on the next lesson, which should be in a matter of days or if not by this time next week. Thank you very much for your time.